Hello internet, so today I want to make a quick video showing you how I turn this dirty IPA that I use for resin printing into mostly clean IPA for reusing. Now I use a mixture of very dirty IPA, medium IPA and cl uh, clean IPA for when I actually um, clean my models fresh off the printer. Now what you end up with is obviously your dirtiest of IPA ends up consolidating in a big bottle like this which I then pour into a bottle like this so this will be binned afterwards because you won't be able to reuse this so this is like an old lemonade bottle this then sits in the sun for about two weeks just sat in the kitchen window probably a good idea to write IPA on it in case a dog or a kid or something picks it up tries to drink it that won't be good but this stuff costs about £22 for 5 litres on Amazon, so it's not too expensive, but the amount that we can actually reuse of this IPA is considerable, so we won't need to keep rebuying this every two weeks. So what do we need? Dirty IPA, gloves are essential, because I'm recording, I won't be able to wear this respirator, so can't wear that. Clean glass or bottled, this is just so I can show you the results. Storage container, so this is just one from a previous, um, this is actually recycled IPA in there already. Two funnels, so we've got a normal funnel and our special funnel. So this is off of Thingiverse, um, there is a link in the description to this funnel. So this is printed in IPA on my filament printer, but it has no leaks and it doesn't leak through or anything, so this works um, pretty well. Kitchen paper, so this will be used as our first filter method. So this will clean out all of the massive clumps that are in our resin bottle. And then our coffee filter, so the coffee filter is for the final filtration if you want to get out any of the last little bits. Now some people on the internet say to use this straight away with a funnel like this. Now the problem is, if you put that in there, pull that in, it's just going to absolutely clump this up and you'll be spending about five hours trying to get anything through this and by then it will all just evaporate so we're not doing that so once you've got the resin after about two weeks to this stage try not to shake this because you're going to mix it back up and cause problems at least while it's mostly separated we can actually pour out the most of this liquid before the clumps come out step one we got our filter so our funnel so I'm going to go ahead I'm going to pour this into our glass jar like that kitchen paper so you could just use one depends on how strong you think the kitchen paper is going to be so wrap it round like so that goes in there in the jar and I pour it through the funnel and already look you can see how clear the first batch is but you can see that resin liquid is already coming so I try and filter out as much as I can as much as I can without getting this clumpy liquid in so as you can see we've got fairly clear IPA out of there at the moment I'm going to get rid of this now so I can show you the good stuff okay so basically this is my technique once all the big clumps of resin are sat inside the paper towel all we need to do Give it a little squeeze. Let me try to do this on camera. So you see all that liquid coming out? If you squeeze that, again, try not to make a mess, but give it a little squeeze. Give the sack a squeeze. <laughs> you see all the liquid coming out? So basically you want to do that until you can't get any more through the paper towel and it's absolutely full of resin. Then you can take this paper towel, throw it in the bin or leave it in the sun for the resin to dry. Okay, try not to squeeze this too hard because if you do and you pop the tissue paper basically it'll all just be pointless you have to re redo it so this is the resin that we're left with in the tissue paper now obviously the further you get down the bottle this stuff really starts to thicken up and you end up with massive clumps of uh, uncured resin in there now don't throw this in the bin just pull it in the sun because this stuff will cure and then that way it's safe to throw in the bin yeah, so when we get to this bit, we get massive clumps of 
of the resin, just give it a good squeeze, it should come out like bleak. Heard. Oh god. Now what you could do is at that point when you get to the real heavy stuff you could just throw this away obviously try and cure as much as you can in there seal it up and, and, and bin that but even with the massive clumps of resin you can still clean it through the actual tissue paper. So when I get to this point, I try not to leave too much clumps in there because obviously it's going to get harder to actually filter it out. So you can see all this resin that's actually in the IPA. Mad. Okay, so literally 20 minutes, half an hour, we've taken about two litres of IPA, converted that back into mostly clean IPA, or that's what I'm going to call it. So this bottle's now condemned. Look inside, you can see all the massive clumps of resin. What I'll do is I'll squish this down, I'll put the lid on tightly, and then I will dispose of that in an economical way. And this stuff should really be cured as well. So stick that under a UV lamp or leave it out in the sun, and then you can just bin that. Again, you could just make sure that that's nice and cured in there, stick it in a cure machine or something, and then you can go ahead and bin that. But there we go, that's my method for reusing IPA or recycling IPA. So again, this stuff isn't massively expensive, but you know, for about half an hour's work, well, two weeks, you've got to leave that to secure, you know, you can get some pretty good results. These jars are actually quite handy as well. I'll just pick them up from Bean and Bargains.